Hi everyone, welcome to our episode 3 of our practical VCarve tutorials. In this episode I'm going to show you how to make a sign like this here. It'll be a text on top of a text. And I'll show you some helpful tips and tricks along the way. Before we get started I want to show you how to import um, external fonts some like you can get online here go to this website here to font.com they have many different website or many different uh, fonts you can choose from let's just pick this one here this lovely vibes you just come over here just click download and that'll download right away and then you open it up here and it'll be in a zip folder, so you want to unzip that. And after you unzip the folder, you'll be left with a font file. Then you just right click that and click install. And then it'll be ready to use inside of vCarve. Go back to vCarve here. Okay, um, for our job here, we're just going to set up the width 24 and a quarter by 7. You can set this up to whatever size your material is. And then we'll click OK. Okay, now first we want to use our font tool here. We'll draw some font. And for the background, I'm going to be using this font here. And our text height is four inches. And we'll do all caps and we'll do family. Okay, and now we can click out of this. We can type our second font. Now here's all the fonts installed on your computer now. If we look, here's that lovely vibes we just downloaded and it's available to use now okay we could type our second one okay and here's what this is what we're going to put on top we're going to want to scale this down some I, uh, a little bit wider. And you can even stretch it a little bit if you if you want to. Okay, that looks pretty good there. We'll close this. Now what I like to do when I'm using fonts and altering, alterating them, I will copy them and paste them and put it over to the side in case we have to come back to that. So with this font here, I'll bring this up out of here. You can see it's all overlapping here. So we're gonna to wanna to weld that all together. To do that, I'm using a version 10 of vCarve. So this is their new feature here. You can just click the weld tool and you can replace. And now it just welded everything together. Now, if you're using an older version of vCarve, I'm gonna undo that. It's back to where it was. If you're using an older version, you'd have to go to this tool here, convert to curves. Now it's converted to curves. And before you weld, you want to deselect all the inside shapes, like anything that this A doesn't touch anything, so we can get rid of that. This here, a little bit more manual process. That's why the upgrade is nice. All 
Okay, looks like I got them all. Okay, now when you click the weld tool, now it will weld the rest. Now you can see nothing's overlapping anymore. Now what I'll do is I'll select all this and click group. Or you could do the shortcut on your keyboard as G. Now after you do that, you can no longer edit this text. That's why I do a copy over here. So if I ever if I have to edit it or figure out what font I used, it's over here and you just click the text button again and I can edit it up here. Now we're gonna to want to convert the family to curves as well. Do that down over here. Okay, now let's group this using the letter G. And we're gonna to align to center, make sure we're centered in the job space. We're gonna do that again for this other text. Okay, now both are centered perfectly. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to offset a line past this text. So to do that, we're gonna ungroup this using the letter U on your keyboard. That's a shortcut. Okay, now we're gonna to want to only select the outer shapes. Okay, now we have those all selected. Now we're gonna offset that using our offset tool. And we'll try, let's try one quarter inch. Okay, that might be too much, but we'll try to undo that. Let's do uh, one eighth. Okay, that looks good. Now, I'm gonna undo that one more time. If you select this checkbox here to select new and you offset, it'll now select the line you just offsetted. And then we'll close this. Okay, and then we don't need this one here. Check to see if there's any more. All right, so I'm gonna delete this one and reselect the rest. Now, when you offset curve lines, a lot of times it you have to check the nodes here. It adds way too many nodes. And to fix that, I just come into this tool here, fit curves to fit curves to vectors, switch it to Bezier curves, and click preview. Now that cleaned it up a lot, and we'll click OK. Okay, now that's all done. Now we're going to go back to our family here. We're going to ungroup that using the letter U. And now we're going to want to weld these shapes together. So we'll select these two here and click weld. And then we'll select these two. Now the A has this inner shape and outer shape. So you're going to want to group these together first. And then select anything that this letter touches as well, so we can select these both as well as the I. And now we're going to want to group these together here. I'm sorry, uh, weld them together. Okay, click the weld tool and it's all just welded. Now these are all one shape. And then 
we'll do this last one here select these two and then select this one last and weld and sometimes you get a little little line like that you can delete and that takes care of all of that now we can check this here okay we're on group now okay now I'm going to take this center text here and I'm going to group that all back together so we'll select all these Okay, after you get all that selected, missed one here. Make sure you got it all. And we'll click the letter G, group. Okay, now we're gonna need um, a box around the outer, outer uh, family word here so we'll go to draw a rectangle tool now I'm gonna put a border from the edge half inch from the edge so to do that I'll start at the bottom left here and I'll type in 0 0.05 that'll be a half inch from the X 0 0.05 from the Y so that'll start our point down here half inch from X and Y and then there's you can figure out what size you need or the easier way to do this is every every place you can type in uh, numbers on vcarve you can also do uh, simple math formulas so if, for x if you type in x which would give you your entire x uh, width here now we did half inch from this edge and half inch from the other edge so that equals one inch if you add those together so we'll do x minus one and then type in the equal button and that'll give you your your total width minus one and that'll give you what 23 and a quarter and then we'll do the same thing for y do y minus one equals and then that will give us the y dimension here now just click create now it's a half inch from the whole border all the way around now we want to close this and now we're ready for tool pass so come over here to your tool pass and the shortcut I use to get over the tool pass, if you use F12 on your keyboard, it'll get rid of your drawing tool uh, tab and bring up your tool pass tab. Okay, so we'll make a tool path for the center text first. So we'll select that and then go to vCarve. And then since this is smaller text here we'll, we don't need a clearance tool and I use my 60 degree V bit I don't need a flat depth and keep your start depth at zero because we're going right off the top of the surface and then come down and click calculate now that just gave us our toolpath there we can come over here, click Preview Selected Toolpath. And there's our preview there. Now we'll come back to our 2D view. And now we're going to want to carve this uh, space around the family. So to do that, we'll select everything, 
then hold the shift key in and deselect our center text. And now close this. We'll go back into our VCarve toolpath. And this time we will want a, a clearance tool because we have a lot of material to remove out here. So we'll use a quarter inch bit to do that. And then our settings stay the same for 60 degrees. And we will want to set a flat depth. I usually go 0 0.08. And then come down and click calculate. Okay, now that gave us uh, two tool paths. One's for the quarter inch bit, one's for the 60 degree bit. So we'll check out the quarter inch first. Select that one and preview. Okay, as you can see, it, it took out most of the material there. Now we'll come to our 60 degree V bit, and that's going to come in and clean up all these little areas and all around all the edges. So we'll preview that. And there we go. Now we can rotate it here. And it looks like it worked pretty good. All right, that concludes this tutorial. And I just want to give a thanks to everybody that's supported me so far. And if you haven't already, come check out our CNC file help and support group where we're posting up all the projects we're making and you can see Larry he made his files from the last videos and they turned out really good and there's his flag so I encourage you to uh, try these all these files out and when you uh, make one just post it in the group and if you have any suggestions for the next videos just drop them down in the comments Thanks for watching.